Good morning, mga mahal, my fellow guides, beloved. Come, um, let's go for a walk. And I'm going to that side. There's a crossover bridge. And go another place to read God's word. Look at this. So nice. Okay. Let's go and. Uh, Take a jog, <laughs> jogging. Let's go to this side. I'm walking towards the bridge. Opposite to that, there is a nice place for me to sit down and uh, read God's word. Hallelujah! It's a uh, walking, jogging, <laughs> reading God's word while grandparents are having the morning nap they're actually sleeping and so i was able to come also because they want me to go for a walk as well that's good just for a little while hallelujah thank you father it's nice weather Crazy, sunny as well, and yet it's cool, and so it's very pleasant to go for a walk. Hallelujah! Thank you, Father, for this time and opportunity for me, for me, Lord, to be able to come and take a walk to hear the birds chirping. <laughs> The smell of the sun is so nice. <laughs> oh, thank you, Father. Running the race to the all the way to the end. It is breezy here, actually. A busy road as well. It's a busy road. Let's go. I think I'll just run a little bit faster. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Running the race to the end. All the way to the end. Sitting down is the center. And we'll be faithful. Right here, right? Look, <laughs> beautiful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I came from there. Place sounds better, isn't it? Very easy.
<laughs> anyway, so I'm going to sit that side or perhaps this side. This side is my place on this one. No one else can touch my heart like you do. Sometimes there are fishes here swimming and eating. Madame Pua, Denise Pua, she is actually the best friend of my former boss, Doc, uh, Dr. and Mrs. Lim. She comes to our house. She is a very nice lady and a God fearing lady, Miss Denise Pua. I know her personally because of her. Um, son also who is special need but very loved with autism as well so I knew her because they have the same school with my ward Isaac so thank you Lord for all these people who really are a channel of blessing and they are such wonderful I think I can reach her thank you Jesus hallelujah Oh, we bless the Lord and we glorify your Father. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful time for me to be able to sit down here and just read God's word. Hallelujah, Father. As I read your word, help me to understand, Lord. Give me thy spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of your Father. As I read your word, in Jesus' mighty name, name above all names, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. To that, to this today, we will be reading. We will be reading Leviticus chapter. Um, sorry. <laughs> Leviticus chapter five. No, uh, chapter six. Leviticus chapter 6, but we will start at verse 8. Yesterday we, we stopped from 
the verse 7 of chapter 6 and so we'll start with verse 8 and before that also we can go to the book of proverbs chapter 4 today is january 4 we can read also book of proverbs chapter 4 4 hallelujah thank you so much lord oh we bless the lord and we glorify your father see what the lord can tell us about chapter proverbs chapter 4 let's read first proverbs chapter 4 then we proceed to reading Leviticus chapter 6 verse 8. I think I feel like sitting here <laughs> instead of uh, um, on the bench. I feel comfortable in here. Oh, it's such a beautiful flower. Isn't it so cute? <laughs> wow, it's purple in color as well. Yay! Look at that very cute and very nice thank you lord okay come let's read god's word hallelujah maybe we should sing a song a little bit huh? running the race to win all the way to the end getting down every scene that's a Seems to hinder us Forgetting what lies behind is done. This is a nice Forgetting what lies behind Sitting our hearts on the prize Always keeping our eyes on our Lord Jesus We're running the race to win All the way to the end Letting down every sin that will That will seek to hinder us And we'll be faithful To our calling For you are able to keep us from falling for in your promise, hallelujah, yes, we will trust, we'll be faithful to finish the work you begun in us. Yes, let's run the race to win, hallelujah, come let's sing again. Running the race to win, all the way to the end. Hallelujah. Laying down every sin that we seek to hinder us. And we'll be faithful, yes Lord, to our calling. For you are able to keep us from falling. Yes God, you are able to keep us from falling. For in your promise, yes Lord, we trust in your promised word. Hallelujah. We will trust you will be faith you will be faithful yes Lord you are faithful you'll be faithful to finish the work you begun in us thank you father hallelujah Lord you're so good you're so wonderful you are so awesome father thank you Jesus that indeed yes Lord you are faithful to the works which began in us come let's carry on reading now verses chapter 4 today is uh, january the 4th let's read chapter 4 the lord will speak something to us from this word security in wisdom <laughs> sorry the wind is blowing okay Hear, my child, the instruction of a father, and give attention to no understanding, for I give you good doctrine. Do not first forsake my law. When I was in my father's son, tender, and the only one in the sight of my mother, he also taught me and said to me, Let your heart retain my words, keep my commands, and live. Hallelujah. Father, I will take this word. 
Let your heart retain my words. That means God's words be in our hearts. And keep the Lord's commands and live. Hallelujah. Get wisdom and get understanding. Do not forget and turn away from the words of my mouth. Do not forsake her and she will preserve you. Love her and she will keep you. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And uh, in all your getting, get understanding. Father God, thank you Lord Jesus. Help us to get the word to retain your word, Lord, retain in our hearts. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You may carry on reading with this book of Proverbs, chapter chapter 4. Here is it. Get the Lord will reveal to you what you are needed for this chapter. Come, let's proceed in reading the word of God in the book of Leviticus, <laughs> chapter Leviticus chapter 5 Hallelujah Father thank you <laughs> uh, Really it's so windy <laughs> Sorry about that And let's read this The law of the burnt offering Then the Lord spoke to Moses saying Command Aaron and his sons Command Aaron and his son saying, This is the law of the burnt offering. The, the burnt offering shall be on the heart, heart, upon the altar all night until morning, and the fire of the altar shall be kept burning on it. And the priest shall put on his linen garment and his linen trousers he shall put on his body and take up the ashes of the burnt offering which the fires has consumed on the altar and he shall put them beside the altar then he shall take off his garments put on other garments and carry the ashes outside the camp to clean a place to clean to a clean place and the fire on the altar shall be kept burning on it it shall not be put out and the priest shall burn wood on it every morning and lead a burnt offering in order on it and you shall burn on it the fat of the peace offerings a fire shall always be burning on the altar it shall never go out wow so that's why we need really the, the word of god in our hearts jesus be in our hearts keep on burning 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 <laughs> hallelujah his presence be burned hallelujah in our lives okay let's carry on reading the law of the grain offering this is the law of the grain offering the sons of aaron shall offer it on the altar before the lord he shall take from it his handful of the fine flour of the grain offering with its oil and all the frankincense and all the frankincense which is on the grain offering and shall burn it on the altar for a sweet aroma as a memorial to the Lord and the remainder remainder of it Aaron and his sons shall eat with unleavened bread it shall be eaten in a holy place in the court of the tabernacle of meeting they shall eat it it shall not be baked with leaven I have given it as their portion of my offerings and made by fire. It is all it is most holy, like the sin offering and the trespass offering. All the males among the children of Aaron may eat it. It shall be a statute forever in your generations concerning the offerings made by fire to the Lord. Everyone who touches them must be holy. And the Lord spoke to Moses saying this is the offering of Aaron and his sons which they shall offer to the Lord beginning in the day when he is anointed one tenth of the ephah of fine flour as a daily grain offering half of it in the morning and half of it at night it shall be made in pan <coughs> with oil then it is mixed you then it is mixed you shall bring it in the baked pieces of the grain offering you shall offer for a sweet aroma to the Lord. The praise from among his sons who is anointed in his place shall offer it. 
It is a statute forever to the Lord. It shall be wholly burnt. For every grain offering for the priest shall be wholly burnt. It shall not be eaten. The law of the sin offering. Also the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and to his son, saying, This is the law of the sin offering in the place where the burnt offering is killed. The sin offering shall be killed before the Lord. It is most holy. The priest who offers it for sin shall eat, shall eat it. In a holy place it shall be eaten in the court of the tabernacle of meeting. Everyone who touches its flesh must be holy. And when its blood is sprinkled on the garment or any garment, you shall wash that on which it was sprinkled in a holy place. But the earthen vessel in which it is boiled shall be broken. And if it is boiled in a bronze pot, it shall be both scourged, scourged and rinsed in water. All the males among the priests may eat it. It is most holy. But no sin offering from which the from which any of the blood is brought into the tabernacle of meeting to make atonement in the holy place shall be eaten. It shall be burned in the fire. Oh the law of trespasses offering. Likewise this is the law of the trespasses offering. It is most holy. In the place where they kill the burnt offering, they shall kill the trespass offering, and its blood this they shall sprinkle all around on the altar, and he shall offer from it all its fat, the fat tail and the fat of the covers, the entrails, the two kidneys and the fat that is on them by the flanks and the fatty lobe attached to the liver above the kidney he shall remove and the priest shall burn them on the altar as an offering made by fire to the Lord. It is trespass offering. Every male among the priests may eat it. It shall be eaten in a holy place. It is most holy. The trespass offering, trespass offering is like the sin offering. There is one law for them both, the priest who makes atonement it with it shall have it, and the priest who offers anyone's burnt offering, that priest shall have for himself the skin of the burnt offering which he has offered. Also, every grain offering that is baked in the oven, and all that is prepared in the covered pan or in a pan shall be the priest's who offers it. Every grain offering whatever mixed with oil or, or, or dry shall belong to all the sons of Aaron, to one as much as the other. Wow. The law of the peace offering. Hallelujah. Father God, thank the Lord for your word. Indeed, there is so much more to do for like when they offered it, the sin offering, the burnt offering, the grain offering, and thank you, Father, that you did it all. Precious Holy Spirit, thank, thank you for revealing to me that indeed Jesus did it all, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, God, for sending the Lord Jesus as our sweet aroma offering to God. And Lord, we are so blessed. And now we are in Christ as we come to Jesus. So we are totally surrendered Him, Father God, Jesus. We have the assurance of forgiveness as we ask forgiveness as we come to Him. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you again for this wonderful time and opportunity for me to be able to read God's Word. And thank you, Lord, also for teaching us in the book of Proverbs to put the Word of God in our hearts. And we have to get wisdom and get understanding on what you are telling us about your word thank you lord we praise you father and we glorify you oh god in jesus mighty name the name above all names we pray amen hallelujah thank you mga mahal for reading god's love letter with me may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord hallelujah may his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and always remember that jesus loves you bye mga mahal Take care and God bless. Let's read again tomorrow. Bye.